Welcome to Module 3, Lesson 12. Let's get started. Today we will be learning how to apply the distributive property as a strategy to multiply. We are learning this so that we can multiply and divide fluently in real life situations. We will know that we are successful when we can use the 9 equals 10 minus 1 pattern for multiplication. Write a multiplication equation to match the tape diagram. Notice that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 boxes, so that's 8 groups of 9 in each box and there are 72 in all. Eight times nine equals 72. Using the commutative property, we can say that eight times nine is the same as nine times eight. Both have a product of 72. Now write a multiplication equation to match this tape diagram. Notice that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes or 10 groups, and there are 8 in each box. There are 80 in all. So we can say that 10 times 8 equals 80. Now we can use a tens fact to find the product of 9 times 8. We said that there are 10 boxes in all, and 10 times 8 equals 80. As you can see, we've separated 9 times 8 that leaves 1 times 8 left over. So the sum of 9 times 8 plus 1 times 8 is the same as 10 times 8. So we said that 9 times 8 equals 10 times 8, take away 1 times 8. So 9 times 8 equals 80 minus 8. Therefore, 9 times 8 equals 72. Let's go back to the previous slide. In this slide, we said that 9 times 8 plus 1 times 8 equals 10 times 8. We can also say that 10 times 8 minus 1 times 8 equals 9 times 8. We can use a tens fact to find the product of 9 times 7. We know that 10 times 7 equals 70. Ten times seven minus one times seven equals nine times seven. So we can say that 70, 9 times 7 equals 70 minus 7, and that would be 63.
Now we can use a tens fact to find the product of 9 times 6. So 9 times 6 equals 10 times 6 minus 1 times 6. Nine times six equals sixty minus six. Sixty minus six is fifty four. Hunter has nine boxes of pencils. Each box has nine pencils. How many pencils does Hunter have in all? Use the distributive property and the fact 9 equals 10 minus 1 as a strategy to solve. So again, we're going to read it and pick out the most important information. Hunter has nine boxes of pencil. Each box has nine pencils. So nine times nine equals what? Well, 10 is one less, 9 is one less than 10. So we can say that 9 times 9 is 10 times 9 minus 1 times 9. 10 times 9 we know is 90, 1 times 9 is 9, so we can count backward 9 times. We have 90, 89, 88, 87, 86, 85, 84, 83, 82, 81. 90 minus 9 equals 81. Okay, how many pencils does Hunter have in all? Hunter has 81 pencils in all because 10 times 9 minus 1 times 9 equals 81. Let's check her answer. Answer, 9 times 9 equals 81, because 90 minus 9 equals 81. Okay, it's your turn to put what you've learned to work. You're going to complete this redraw write question on your own. We will read it together. You will draw out your work, and then you'll write complete sentences to answer the question. When we're finished Reading it together, you can pause the video and do the work. When you're satisfied with your answer, go to the description box below and check your answer. Here we go. Grace gives nine stickers to each of her friends. She has seven friends. How many stickers does she give away in all? Use the distributive property and the fact nine equals ten minus one as a strategy to solve. Okay, do your very best work, and I'll see you in the next video.